Dear audience, welcome back. I hope that you're all are fine. Today I'm going to discuss on some problems relating with integrations which uh, with the help of partial fraction. Dear audience, here for the first fraction is the x squared by x squared minus 4. Here the degree of the denominator and numerator are equal to each other and that is why it's an uh, improper fraction. To express this fraction as a sum of the partial fraction, first of all, we have to express uh, or convert into uh, proper fractions. To do the proper fraction, first of all, mm, we have to divide the uh, numerator by the denominator. Then we'll find the quotient is 1. Then uh, we have to write the remainder as the numerator. And the in place of denominator, we put the denominator here. And factorizing the denominator, we get x minus 2 into x plus 2. Now, 4 whole divided by x minus 2 into x plus 2 is the um, proper fraction. So, this proper fraction can be expressed as the sum of the um, uh, sum of the partial two partial fractions. For doing that, uh, we can consider. Uh, 4 divided by x minus 2 into x minus x plus 2 equals a divided by x minus 2 plus b divided by x plus 2. This also can be done using the thumb rule process. But here we are using the another uh, rules or another uh, another rules or the um, so multiplying the both side of these uh, we get 4 equals a times of x plus 2 plus b times of x minus 2. Then if we put x equals 2 to the both side of this identity, then we will we'll find that a equals 1. Similarly, if we put x equals minus 2 here, then this term will be the 0. Then ultimately, we get a equals, sorry, b equals uh, minus 1. Now putting this here, we get the integration x square all divided by x square minus 4 dx equals um, integration dx plus integral of a divided by x minus 2 that means uh, 1 divided by x minus 2 that means dx divided by x minus 2 minus integral dx divided by x plus 2 but the integral of dx is the x and integral of 1 divided by x minus 2 is the ln of x minus 2 and integral of 1 divided by x plus 2 is the ln of x plus 2 plus is the integral constant here so, if you write the answer here, it will do. But if we apply the formula of the ln, then we'll get the ln of x minus 2 all divided by x plus 2 plus c is the integral constant. Dear audience, we also can solve the problem. That means if we follow this problem here, you can solve this problem in this way. That means dividing the denominator, sorry, numerator by the denominator, you will find the quotient is 1 and the remainder is 3. So we can write quotient plus remainder divided by TP0. And applying the above process, we can solve the problem and we can write the integration of x squared minus 1 all divided by x squared minus 4 dx equals um, x plus 3 by 4 ln of x minus 2 whole divided by x plus 2 plus c, where c is the integral constant. In this problem, that means problem number 16, you will get, um, in problem number 16, you will get the denominator and numerator are equal. Uh, sorry, the degree of the denominator and numerator are equal. That is why it is the in proper fractions. To make it proper fractions, first of all, you have to divide the numerator by the denominator. You will find the quotient is 1. And now you can write in the remainder. The remainder is here 5x plus 4. And uh, in place of denominator, we write here uh, denominator. That means x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, uh, factorizing x squared minus 2x minus 8, we get x minus 4 into x plus 2. Now, distributing integration sign, to the both term we get 
this that means using the thumb rule process we get this and um, distributing integration sign here we get uh, the x ln of x minus 2 into x minus 4 whole to the power 4 plus c where c is the integral constant dear audience i am going to discuss another type of uh, integration that means um, this type of integration uh, can be done in another way here the different uh, degree of the numerator is uh, x square here the denominator is x square so we can say that um, the denominator is also x square but x plus 2 whole square it is the repeating factor that means that means x plus 2 whole square can be written as x plus 2 into x plus 2 uh, so it is the repeating factor so if we would like to solve this type of uh, problem that means if we would like to find out the integral of this type of uh, algebraic expressions then first of all we have to consider x plus 2 as y then we can write x uh, equals y minus 2 that means x square equals y square minus 4y plus 4 squaring the both sides of this equation then we can write x square plus 1 equals y square minus 4y plus 5 that means now substituting x square plus 1 by y square minus 4y plus 5 and uh, x plus 2 by y we get x square plus 1 whole divided by x plus 2 whole square equals y square minus 4y plus 5 whole divided by y square now dividing each term of the expressions that means uh, numerator by y square we get 1 here 4 by y here plus 5 by y square now putting the putting y equals x plus 2 here we get minus 1 minus 4 by x plus 2 plus 5 by x plus 2 whole square dear audience so the integration that means integral of x square plus 1 whole divided by x plus 2 whole square dx can be written as integral of 1 minus 4 by x plus 2 plus 5 by x plus 2 whole square dx now the integral of 1 that means dx is the x and integral of dx by x plus 2 is the ln of x plus 2 and the integral of uh, dx by x plus 2 whole square uh, can be written as x plus 2 whole to the power um, minus 2 plus 1 whole divided by minus 2 plus 1 that means minus 1 plus is the integral constant and after calculation we get x minus 4 ln of x plus 2 and here minus 5 x by 2 plus c dear audience um, i hope that you could understand this problem now the another problem here you will find the another problem in this problem we will find uh, 1 minus x whole square and here is the x so if you consider 1 minus x equals y and uh, substituting um, x equals 1 minus y uh, then we get uh, x whole divided by 1 minus x whole square equals y square in uh, 1 minus y whole divided by y square and this can be written as 1 divided by y square minus 1 by y that means x uh, 1 divided by 1 minus x whole square minus 1 by 1 minus x now the using integral sign we can write here integral of x whole divided by 1 minus x whole square tx and here um, and it can be written as 1 minus x 1 divided by 1 minus x whole square so I put here this and here I also put integral of dx divided by 1 minus x but the integral of this uh, can be written as 1 divided by 1 minus x and this can be written as the ln of 1 minus x uh, so plus is the integral constant dear audience